In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to make the double X quilt block using two different fabrics for your half square triangles and getting eight of them at the time. This is great if you're making multiples of these blocks because those extra two half square triangles can move into the next square. If you only make one at a time, it still goes by pretty quickly, but you will have two extra um, half square triangles when you are done. To start off with the double X quilt block, you're going to need your three pieces or squares that um, to the correct measurement for your background. And the one will be the center and then the other two will be opposite each other. And then for all of our half square triangles, we need two pieces of fabric. The first thing you're going to do is on the light fabric, you're going to draw lines using mechanical pencil or regular pencil from corner to corner. Oops. And this is going to be on the wrong side of the fabric, so you will not see these pencil marks on any of the fabric that you're sewing. So, And then you are going to draw a line in the center of the square, going horizontally and vertically. We're going to use these marks for our guide for our sewing sewing lines. Okay, now that we have our pieces at the sewing machine, we're going to stitch on both sides a quarter inch seam. A scant is great because then it helps you when you're squaring them up on the diagonal lines. I'm going to leave my needle in the down position so I can pivot it easily. And then just go down the opposite side. And I'm going to repeat that process on the other drawn diagonal lines. Okay, now that you have your sewn, we're going to cut on the horizontal and vertical lines. And this will give us our half square triangles, the start of them. The last one. So now all the half square triangles have been separated and we have eight. So they need to be pressed open and then squared up. All right, now I have all my half square triangles pressed and I'm going to square them up. I like to use the block lock ruler. It has a groove that fits right in the seam of the half square triangle. So you just Trim two sides and pivot it to the other two sides. If you have a rotating mat, that works really well as well. But if you don't, you can just pick it up and move it around. So now you just continue trimming your half square triangle. Now that we have our blocks all trimmed and squared up, we can go ahead and lay the quilt block out. You're just going to need to watch the direction of your half square triangles to make sure that they are facing the right way. Or spinning, I guess, or whatever. And I've got this board that I use, and it's a steady Betty, which I really like. You can press on it. All right, because I got eight half square triangles out of the two squares. I do have some extra squares left over which are half square triangles which is just fine. I'll save them for another project. So here is my block all laid out and I just need to take it to the sewing machine and put it together. All right so what I'm going to do is take two pieces at a time and sew them together um, moving down the rows. So our first is the top left and the top middle square. 
If you need to pin them together, then do that. I'm going to take the other, the next row down um, and sew those together. This is kind of chain piecing here. Make sure they're lined up really good. And our last row. Now I can snip off this first section and then open it up, make sure my pieces are in the right order, and then add my third square right on top of it. Stitch that one down. And then repeat the process for this middle section. Again, making sure that I have the right order, so I need that block in the center. Make sure these are lined up correctly and this half square triangle is going the correct direction. And then the last section we're going to snip off, open it up. And I think that got turned, so that's the direction it's supposed to be, and so on this last square. So now what I can do is cut those first two sections off, open them up, and make sure that they are going to be in the same order that I need them to be. Once that is correct, I'm going to fold them back down, and then I'm going to sew that seam, lining up the edges, and then nesting these seams. So you want to pull the seam to one side on the bottom and the opposite direction on the top. If you need to make um, put some pins in there, put some pins in there to keep that straight so it doesn't shift. And then when you get to a certain point, make some adjustments with your needle down making sure that your seams are going the right way and you stitch over them properly. Okay, and the last seam I have is this last section put on. So now these two are sewn together and I have this last part. So I'm going to make sure and lay it out before I sew it together that they're all going the correct directions. Flip it over. I like to have the previous seam on the top because then I can see what direction this seam is laying. So as you can see, it's coming down. So my other seam needs to go up to um, make it nest. Again, I'm gonna stop and make some adjustments. And now I'm going to press the block open.